Let's begin by adding images and GIFs onto a Confluence page. To add an image or GIF file on a page, place the cursor at the desired position and then click the File and Images button on the toolbar. Next, click the Upload a File button. You can navigate to the folder on your computer and select the desired image or GIF file to upload it to the Confluence page or enter the URL of the desired web page in the File Name field. Now click Insert File to insert the file on the page. You can also drag files like images, multimedia, office files, and PDFs from your computer and drop them directly onto the editor. The contents of the file will be embedded into the page or blog post. You can resize the image by dragging the vertical line on either side of the image. Now let us see how to use the floating toolbar to align images or wrap text around them. Whenever you select an image, the floating toolbar appears. Using this toolbar, you can determine the alignment of the image. You can choose to align the image left, right, or center. You can wrap the text around the images by clicking Wrap Left or Wrap Right options on the floating toolbar. You may also want to add context or meaning to the image with a brief description. Click the Alt Text button and add the description in the field. Alt text is useful for people using screen readers because of visual limitations. Now, let us see how to use the widget connector macro. You can display live content from YouTube, Vimeo, Flickr, and other sites using the widget connector macro. For YouTube and Vimeo links, you can paste the URL onto your page and it will automatically convert into a playable video. To add the widget connector to a page, from the Insert list, select View More. You can also press the forward slash key on the keyboard and type Widget Connector to open the Insert Widget Connector Macro page. On the Select Macro page, click External Content and then select Widget Connector. On the Insert Widget Connector Macro page, enter the desired website's widget URL, specify the width and height if required, and then click Insert. That brings us to the end of this video on uploading multimedia elements. In this video, you learned how to add images and GIFs, use the floating toolbar, use the widget connector macro. 